Babylonic construction, reality unfolded, an invitation for collaboration by the meta-modelers. The forms of governance that we need for any particular purpose has a strong correlation with the network form that has chosen to fulfil the intended purpose at a point in time. In effect, autocrats yell, the ruler rules. Bureaucrats tell, the rules rule. Democrats sell, consent rules. Meritocrats ask, well, since your commitment rules. There is no one best meta system. Our advice would be to match governance to network forms. Autocrats favour the attributed network's one-way commands. For example, low latency, get things done quickly with minimal oversight. One person's preferred bias. Bureaucrats prefer centralised networks. They are fixed, familiar, rules are explicit and they don't have to carry cost of redundancy. Their downside is they have limited ability to respond to suit a change in external context. Democrats are inclined towards distributed networks. People, not rules, take precedence. Multiple institutions offer broad consultation. The more complex of the forms, decentralised, would be the preference of the meritocrat. This form of governance has its detractors, since it is a term that is readily misappropriated. Returning to the there is no one best meta system stated above, all have their form of tyranny. For autocrats, too little change. Bureaucrats, too little choice. Democrats, too much choice. Meritocrats, too much change. As a predictor for the future of monetary and political adaptation, we are reaching the end of the third order effect of holonic construction for both networks and governance. This is evidenced by the diminishing returns of distributed fiduciary and social systems. Up until now, the task of defining reality has been the preserve of physics written in the language of mathematics. More specifically, this has narrowed to a search for a theory of everything, TOE. Physics sees this as a battle between, or unification of, general relativity and quantum field theory. At this point, we shall not venture any conjectures in this realm, except to suggest collaboration is a prerequisite, and it is not a unidisciplinary exploration. Expanding on this, if, for example, the problem is handed to the hard sciences to solve, and should a single equation emerge to unite the two frameworks, how would it further our collective ambitions as a species? Would it provide the meaningful existence we so deeply long for? That is why we term holonic construction to be an MOE, or meaning of everything. It is satisfying to know that we are at the leading edge of an unfolding, the end of one monad resolution and start of a new holon bias with greater agency. Satisfying and exciting for some, but the reality is that those will be in the minority. There is a great responsibility at this time for inclusion, communication, trust and courage to build the new future. It was only a matter of time before the engine of reality entrusted the accelerated pace of selecting and engineering its own future reality to one of its many experiments, us. As investor and philanthropist Ray Dalio maintains, pursuing self-interest in harmony with the laws of the universe and contributing to evolution is universally rewarded. It will be a consolation to many that reality is platonic in nature. As Plato inferred, if particulars are to have meaning, there must be universals. The materialistic belief that nothing exists except matter, its movements and modifications, can now be repositioned. Holonic construction embraces all toward progressive monad resolutions of higher agency. The universe and its manifest and unmanifest reality can now also be understood as being neither analogue nor digital, but instead a digital log of analogue fractals and digital bractals performing their meaningful meta-dance. Put simply, the analogue information that is adapted within monads becomes the digital information evolved between monads.
The anthropic principle that the universe was served up to us finely tuned for our existence, like Goldilocks porridge, is also proven correct, or at least with a twist. If the universe's overriding evolutionary bias is toward optimal agency, then the emergence of conscious life, capable of discovering its own source code, that it can be harnessed to greater agency, is an inevitable consequence. This process places purpose at the forefront of all our endeavours. The great chain of monadic being and doing, repeatedly transcending itself through the mechanism of holonic construction, is an elegantly simple solution. No doubt this would have the late Richard Feynman repeat his humble tribute. As usual, nature's imagination far surpasses our own, as we have seen from the other theories which are subtle and deep. Present Group Developments is a private company engaged in private research. We are keen to collaborate with like-minded individuals and institutions to share our extensive back catalogue and extend it to further improve the lot of human existence and beyond. We are of the view that metamodeling using holonic construction is most likely to have the greatest initial impact by pointing out where we are currently at an impasse towards achieving higher agency. We have been stuck on the wrong roads, or stuck because the right road is currently not evident to us. These obstructions can be overcome by collaboration. Our niche discipline of metamodeling consistently meets at the intersection of both physics and metaphysics, science and art, both full of awe and awful. It is an approach from multiple disciplines. We too cannot help but share in the same exquisite excitement articulated by theoretical physicist and Nobel laureate Steven Weinberg when he expressed, We have simply arrived too late in the history of the universe to see this primordial simplicity easily. But although the symmetries are hidden from us, we can sense that they are latent in nature governing everything about us. That's the most exciting idea I know, that nature is much simpler than it looks. The meta-pattern of holonic construction is both breathtakingly simple and effective in practical application. Please join us to share your insights, further develop this universal source code and apply it for the good of all.